Starting off my newest folder, um, this one has been, uh, was one of the first designs I uh, made out of steel for uh, friction folders before I really got the pivot system down. So not the super, not the most efficient in there, but man, does this turn out really, 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 really nicely. Um, originally I had some of these um, Mercado scales. I was just going to do a nice contour, but then I uh, messed up drilling one of the holes and uh, chamfering it, so it became scrap and thought I'd do a nice uh, Enzo pattern. Um, first time I've really tried it, so it's not the most even. Turned out pretty well back here on the end, but here just didn't work out so well. So. Uh, just a good little practice. Definitely have to keep practicing on that. I think it'll turn out really well, but this thing is absolutely freaking phenomenal. Um, eighth inch peel ply G10 handle scales here, and then over some uh, titanium liners. It's a real big shame that you can't really see the insides, but really nice, deep, brilliant blue. Um, I orange peeled the inside of those liners. And of course, that backspacer there, nice high polish um, orange peel texture with that gradient. Just a nice little subtle touch, but um, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. So um, all around, I've got these nice contoured edges, which really um, feel great in the hand. Again, that titanium backspacer just looks absolutely phenomenal. Nice rounded off spine, um, just makes it nice and comfortable for the thumb, but that uh, little angle right there really helps you to lock it down. I just think uh, leaving that tip squared off just makes some nice little contrast. So. Still want to do a little bit more work rounding off the spine. Um, still a couple little minor grind lines in there. And I uh, just want to get a nice smear polish on that tip. But uh, overall works looks amazing. That grind is pretty even. I need to work a little bit on my uh, blending my um, grind lines there. It's not exactly perfect, but definitely one of my better grinds. Pretty darn even. And again, this side, this looks amazing. Uh, I got some uh, Scotch-Brite uh, polishing belts. And they are pretty expensive at 15 bucks a piece, but man, do they leave a really nice finish. Um, nice and smooth and just looks really, really cool. So I uh, still want to do a little bit of rounding off down there on, on the um, heel of the blade, but this thing just has been performing so amazingly well. Really like this ABL. This blade is um, heat treated about 60 Rockwell hardness and uh, has been taking a super keen edge, especially right off those ultra-fine bench stones, uh, my spider scope bench stones, and just has been holding that edge like crazy. So, awesome little knife, um, pretty smooth. Again, uh, titanium liners, just that blue just pops. Just love it. Um, and then again, around the whole edges, I've got a nice um, subtle contour, so I still you still have that good peel-ply texture, but uh, no super harsh edges that really kind of dig into your hand. So. Really enjoy this sh handle shape too. Um, it's nice and narrow, especially through here. So especially with your um, your ring and your pinky finger, you can get a nice good grasp around that handle. But this contour coming back out here and getting a little bit wider kind of keeps that um, blade, the handle from slipping out from uh, your hand when you're really doing that hard cutting task and putting some force in that. Kind of hooks your hooks back in your fingers. So really nice and comfortable for those heavy duty cutting tasks. So. About a three inch blade, um, I, uh, the cutting edge is more um, about a little bit under three inches, four inch handle, so not the most, uh, the best handle to blade ratio. This was one of the first um, steel friction folders I made, so the pivot design is a little bit off. You can see here on a slightly newer one, I've got really good, um, the, just the design here is pretty well optimized to uh, keep as much blade length, so the edge kind of starts right about here. So it's about an inch versus an inch and a half um, of wasted blade space for the pivot. So uh, definitely going to be making a couple new generations of this, trying to work out a good design. And uh, once I nail something down, I definitely want to make a run and get it water jet um, just so I can get a whole bunch of these out and have people test them out. So let me know what you guys think of this design. Again, I just think it's absolutely phenomenal, um, especially with those titanium liners. I mean, drop dead gorgeous. So. Uh, nonetheless, uh, I did a little bit of work on this. I made myself a little titanium pocket clip um, to swap these. I just swapped these screws out for uh, some long ones and uh, thread this in from the bottom. But uh, nice deep carry pocket clip, um, nice ergo, so it's not too sharp. It doesn't come off too much on the end here. So when you hold it, it uh, doesn't dig into the hand pretty well or that much. But uh, so functions pretty well. I just have been really enjoying running this without the clip. I'm just super comfortable in the hand, and um, just at least for EDC, I just drop this in my pocket, and uh, it's good to go. So 
Still need to do a little bit of work on this one. Uh, you can see here, little, it's not a very even line here on the uh, contour here. So I just want to smooth those out a little bit better, polish them up, and then I think this one will be good to go. Um, really have been enjoying this one. Just absolutely love this ABL. Nice and cheap. Um, last but not least, another fixed blade. Um, finished up the sheath, but unfortunately a friend of mine um, did a nice little cut into the sheath right there. So I'm going to have to make a new one. But um, nonetheless, this thing has been working out really well for inside the waistband carry. Nice thin G10 handles, uh, eighth inch peel ply um, with those screws. So you get a really nice grip. It fills the hand pretty well, especially when you're doing some hard, harder uh, cutting tasks and you're really gripping down hard. Uh, nice chamf uh, chamfered edges, which really help fit in the hand, but um, still kind of keep it nice and slim. So a uh, nice chisel grind, you can see there, uh, satin finish, a little bit, a couple scratches here from the sheath. And then I've got a uh, convex high polish uh, point here, which uh, really, really turned out really well. Um, so this chisel finish, chisel grind really takes a, such an amazingly sharp edge. Let's see if I can uh, shave some hairs, but this thing is absolutely ridiculously easy to sharpen up. But um, again, that AEBL has been, really been holding an awesome, amazing edge. So. This one, again, uh, didn't do the most even of jobs, um, kind of rounding off those edges. So just need to go back, touch them up, and then, of course, make a new sheath. It's just a little bit more difficult with this one being a chisel grind. Um, you can see there the edge just wants to cut right into that sheath. So just need to find a way to kind of avoid that, maybe uh, bend this around. But I think this knife will be going to my friend who's a... Um, law enforcement officer kind of go as a, a duty carry belt uh, kind of a uh, defense knife so really been enjoying making all of these knives uh, I still have about nine or so to finish um, I've, I've actually been working on one for today uh, another nice V ground Warncliffe um, this one's gonna be going to uh, one of my good friends uh, to test out I think this is gonna be really really nice so let me know what you guys think um, if you guys think this is a good design um, to kind of work on and f try to finalize something to get water jet. I definitely, definitely think this is going to be a winner once I finish up some uh, little tweaks. So other than that, uh, just my knife for today, Protect New, uh, Newport. Absolutely loving this knife. Um, great little guy. So, you know, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, stay safe.